<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the space between. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. And you made my future bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embracing life, and all the weight you gave to me. I work, it pays off. I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit that love it on a day and leave. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me. That ain't gonna be me. My brother called me up, said he saw me on TV. Well, to catch everybody up into real time, um, we are sitting in Boot Key Harbor on. I don't even know what today is, so obviously we are in the Marathon Vortex. <laughs> November 25th, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm going to go with that because I couldn't argue if I wanted to. Um, so, I hope everybody in this crazy year of 2020 that has not been the greatest for anybody that I know of, um, I hope you guys are all at least safe and well. And let's all hope this all comes to an end. Soon. Soon, because I can't take any more. <laughs> but our schedule as of now, we are going to be headed to the Bahamas. We're going to stay here one more night in the at the dock. We have to change a generator battery because that decided to go out last night when it tried to auto start. And then we're going to get a little weather window tomorrow to go ahead and head down to Key Largo where we're going to make the jump and go all the way across to Chubb. This video though is pretty much our end of the season. It's um, we didn't, it, it's our end of season, end of our charter season. Um, we did have fun this season, don't get us wrong. We did enjoy every guest we had on board and thanks guys for coming. Uh, now we are taking a little bit of time off. Yeah, and we're just being cruisers. We're gonna be, we're gonna taste the cruiser life for a hot minute, and over the holidays, where the weather is uh, still decent enough to enjoy. So we will see what uh, we'll see what see what that has to bring, and hopefully we'll get some more content so some videos can come out. Like I said, we didn't put out a lot of videos because honestly, we're a sailing channel. You don't want to see us hanging around the house. Uh, and that's what we ended up doing for three months. So, stand by. We've got some other videos that will be coming out shortly. We have to repair our old refrigerator and freezer. And... This should be a long video, because it took about <laughs> 10 different yeah. sessions to get it done. 13 days till the charter. We've got compressor out. Fridge being built. And now an air conditioning out. White is positive. White is positive. So here we're installing a new uh, fridge and freezer thanks to, um, well, Kim. Kim, yeah. Thanks, Kim. She decided that the space between needed ice cream on board, so. We needed a freezer that would stay at zero or negative three as it likes to yeah. cover at. Do you help her? No. Yeah. Compression line. When you tie them together, they open the valves up and allow the freon to run through the rest of the system. But in this case, I want to get all the freon out. Evacuate it. Put it on top. Why is that tank look bigger than the freezer tank? Because it is. It's a compressor. That's why I said if we probably should have put this one over on the freezer and move this one over to the fridge, but. Time for that. 
can't see I've ever seen him climb in the cabinet before. Good work, Captain. There is no good work. <laughs> it's all bad words. Pretty much. I'm not sure if this is even gonna hold, so. Hmm. I know the breaker doesn't hold. I should be able to run that and that at the same time. Seems to be the problem. The solder points aren't holding for whatever reason. The freezer leaks and I'm going to go ahead and take it out, take it home, and positive nitro test it with nitrogen, find my little hole, and plug it. So we're going to tie it into the refrigerator breaker, because the refrigerator, uh, well, we just don't have that many lines left, and it's the closest. So we're going to have to upgrade that breaker to a 15 amp from a 6. But that's not that big of a deal. So C strainers. I don't know what they were thinking with putting those little bitty C strainers in there for air conditioners and generators. It's just ridiculous. So I got the big ones that are very similar to the ones that we have on our engines and we're going to see how that works out. Freaking sludge, what the hell? That's disgusting. That's the generator. That's the prime button. Now start it. Um, yeah. That's what you're working on for the generator? Yeah, go ahead. Small space. Not too bad. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're all working. It took some doing, but they're in. Dry everything up down here and move on to project number 53. Because as you can clearly see, the boat is once again blown up. So after we returned back from Sebring um, with the freezer holding and holding constant pressure uh, for the last week, we are now gonna reinstall it and hope everything gets back to working right. Come to find out the uh, freezer malfunction was actually its uh, ESC or it's basically a controller that turns 12 volts into 110 three phase. But we replaced that and it's been up and running ever since. I changed out the power supply for the freezer and it fired back up. The refrigerator has been two weeks now holding pressure um it's holding pressure but it's 85 degrees is that a, just you just turn it, it on. on okay this we need to put a big hex on it's dead okay and we got these working at a balmy zero and 38 degrees looks like an ice cream freezer to me thanks cam bitch <laughs> And we are again T minus two days till 48 hours till charter time. And uh, eighty nine degrees there. 
negative 12 degrees on the freezer pen itself. 90 degrees there. And 2 degrees up here. This one was fine up to it. Everybody's freezing. But here's the problem. You may need to wipe them out with some Clorox because they stink. Yeah, I smell that. I've oh, already right, done that. So, all right. Let's do this. And there's two storms in the Atlantic. Never dull. Absolutely love the new fridge and freezer setup. It has taken my fridge Jenga le uh, game level um, down a few notches. I have everything kind of compartmentalized and can find things much more quickly. And everything is fresh and I love it. Thank you, honey, for all your hard work. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Well, got the freezer all stacked for the stuff. And the fridge semi stacked with stuff. Waiting for the others to cool down. Now, once again, once again the old dock, we're going to be leaving it behind for this boat won't be back here for a couple months if all goes as planned. And uh, we're headed to the Keys. Got a charter, we're gonna pick them up in Miami again because seas are gonna be horrid tomorrow. And... The boat got one of her new stripes. Her other stripe didn't show. She got polished. And she's getting ready to start her season again. But as you can clearly see, we're not even two years in and the bottom job is gone. I contacted the guy that uh, Zatara used and we haven't heard back from him yet, but we're gonna try to get the bottom redone in the Bahamas, but we'll see. All Always right. a project. Let's fire him up. Yes, and by popular request, we now have a lily pad. <laughs> I don't even know where to shoot the camera right now. This is insane. You can't ever tell on camera, but this is shit. Take my word for it. Just look, just look at the hammock. That's what our bellies feel like. this lovely ski state behind me. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Um, uh, um, so we have a charter that leaves tomorrow, headed for Key West. And um, sea state looked like it was going to be even worse tomorrow. So guests are gonna be in Miami. We decided we're going to take one for the team and get beaten from Fort Lauderdale to Miami and pick them up via dinghy, probably Stadium Marina, like we did with our last charter that we got beaten to crap for. So, Scott and I left a day early to uh, take one for the team and it is sh yucky out here. <laughs> um, so yeah. We're hoping the rest of the charter we can tuck behind. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> My poor fruit. Um, oh, yes, and we're having issues with uh, GPS. So, crossing our fingers that the rest of the trip has nice seas and weather, and we make it down to Key West without everybody being sick. Apparently both models of Predict Win are saying this should be below two to below five feet. Like it's all purple. This is not. How can they be this bad at their job? Miami Marine Stadium is uh, hopping, hopping today. The dinghy ride over to get them should be fun. 
Well, we are here. Out of all the things they could have outlawed in COVID, I'm pretty sure jet skis cause coronavirus. We should really outlaw those. I don't know if we can see from way over here, but Scott has just left to go pick up the Broussard family. So we can get the flock out of here because we are both tired as hell of <laughs> getting diggy wake. I mean, uh, jet ski wake. Assume the position. Boom. Uh, you're dead. I'm dead. <laughs> it's okay. 98. All right. You pass. Wait, let me give you the, uh, don't know where you've been. All right, Byron, your turn. So 97.6. We're not dead and we're not on feet. All cold. right. We're not going to melt. Very nice. No COVID here. All right, say so see you later, Stadium Marina. And let me keep your damn jet skis. <laughs> We're out of here. We got the Broussard family on board. Yay. Say hi. Woo. We might have to subtitle them. I'm having a hard time understanding already, but <laughs> but we're good. We're sailing. Ooh, look at that. Seven knots. I pick back up on. with a little rough. So, here we are. All right, SpongeBob is officially christened. <laughs> Scott smashed the heap, he uh, flattened it out, so. Holly, yes. why are you making our guest back in the floor? I said I was not videoing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he has it perfectly. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Put your hat, put your hat back on sideways. Sideways like you had it. <laughs> when I get old, that's all I'm gonna wear. <laughs> when you get older, can you fix a tattoo machine? SpongeBob is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> you want to grab the Velcro? -y? His belt? Grab his belt. <laughs> no, SpongeBob's belt. We are cooking in the kitchen. Tonight is homemade Alfredo. Not, not homemade pasta. And some some shrimps. Blackened shrimps that are not quite blackened yet. And I got a real ass Cajun. Yes, ma'am. Helping me cook some Cajun blackened shrimp Alfredo. Just like that, two hours later, we have. Food thanks to this one. Wah, wah, wah. So our beautiful guests are from Lafayette, Louisiana. And it is currently October 6th. What, how long did they say this before it's gonna hit? Friday night. 
and they're all sitting around watching the weather channel because while they sit here in the beautiful keys on the space between their little town is going to possibly is in the uh the cone of shame for hurricane delta she is five year cancer free so we are celebrating that so uh and praying celebrating and praying same time yeah but and we had an awesome supper yes we made some fine ass cajun and we got to sit at the captain's table and we got to sit at the captain's table not every day well, well so far it has been every day you check that box we check that box yeah the captain's table is pretty much anywhere i set my ass so. <laughs> try to torture our guests well night point it is low tide and you can't see any of it so I guess we're on some sort of lunar high and while they're at the beach Scott is gonna whip up a batch of his painkillers and bring it out there to him because I mean what is better than painkillers on a sandbar I can't think of anything coming in to galleon wave everybody Oop. Holly. I love docking at 30 knots of wind. It's so much fun. Yep. There's never a curse word said. I'm hoping it, yeah, it's recording. Except for that one time I got a black one. We got Captain Scott up there. He's a hot mess. You got it though. You got it, you got it. Night four. four. One, two, three, four. The last, last supper. The last supper was just had, and how was it? Awesome. awesome. What, your what? But what? Whoa. But what was your favorite, Bo? Oh, the shrimp Alfredo. Oh, what did we have tonight? Oh no, 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 you can tell me your favorite. What's your your favorite so far has been the shrimp Alfredo? Yes, followed closely by the macaroni and cheese. That stuff is top shelf. Top <laughs> shelf. <laughs> You Did know, you get plenty to eat? Better. Oh my god, yes. Holly was, was very accommodating to my Lord's belly, but it's <laughs> these. Your belly large belly and its knees. And now we are going to head out to Duval Street, which is no longer masks required, except for walking in and out of establishments. So you have to bring one with you. So I need a mask. You need a mask just to walk in and out. But we don't have to wear it walking down the street, which is what we had last we heard, so that's good news. She yeah. has to. We are here with the, pronounce your last name properly, because I think I've been butchering it the entire time. Boudreaux. No, Boudreaux. <laughs> stop. Hey, uh, Boudreaux. 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 So I haven't been saying wrong. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, what 
Let's see what question should I ask you? What was your favorite part of the entire trip this, thus far? Are you trying to feed them? <laughs> Making new friends. <coughs> yep, spending time with y'all was great. I'm trying to get them to say get out. I'm about to laugh. You know, but after. No after, comments from the peanut gallery. After having to vacuum under the table. <laughs> That'll be good because I got that video. <laughs> oh, okay. He wanted to do it. I didn't I didn't even ask. Yep, that'll get cut out. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep going. His wife dared him to do it. Yeah, right. It's always my fault. This is an example of what kind of suitcase not to bring on a boat. Just now we know <laughs> when we come back we'll just soft side. We misunderstood the No, you just them. didn't read the rules. Mm -hmm. You just signed the signature. You don't you also don't know what I get at your house. Do what? I get your house. You signed it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> it might mean <laughs> Do what? Uh oh. Yeah, I may not want your yeah. house. I'm not saying that. I didn't just say that. I'm sorry. Too soon. Too soon. I know. Lots of sailing. We got up to nine knots under sail, I think. Yeah. That was fun. Nine knots and 22. And we got Winda. You are our first charter to go down the inside. Oh, okay. So. We have a lot of first lines. Yeah. You're the first one on this this sea deck. And it's still in Byron vacuumed it well. And Byron so vacuumed it well. The first ancestors of Butu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first coon. No, you're not the first coon asses, though. Literally, yeah. My grandma's a Butu. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like below. Also, hit the subscribe button. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching this season. We really appreciate it. I like I said, it hasn't been the greatest for any of us, but everybody hang in there and uh, this too shall pass. And make every day count no matter, just do something nice for somebody and it makes you feel better, makes them feel better, and in this world we all need a little bit more of that. So, peace to everyone and keep watching. We got some more content coming up. And if you're sitting on that couch and you're just thinking about whether you're going to go sailing or not, just do it. Mark Twain once said, in 20 years from now, you're going to regret the things you didn't do, but you won't even remember the things you did. Especially for me. I can't remember my name now. I don't think you remember that quote right either. Yeah, well. Oh, well. Uh, Take care, guys. Take care. Yeah.